Ladies and gentlemen, Jeffrey Patterson and the Theater of the Mind. I want to get even. My back is bent and my face is ugly. The mothers hide their children. The old men spit and the little boys and girls throw things at me. The Russian priest who raised me could hardly look at me. So, in 1881, I snuck away from the village at night and made my way to Paris. There, there I thought people are more free and I would go unnoticed. But it was not to be. It was the same. So one night I was sitting in my little apartment looking out the window across the street at the great cathedral of Notre Dame. I realized what I must do. So early the much morning before light, I ran out of my apartment down the steps and up the route to the hotel where I was employed, taking out the sewage and sweeping the walk. I knew I must hurry and be gone by mid-morning. While emptying the chamber pots, I spilt one and a, a large red-faced man kicked me and, and threatened to terminate my employment. While I was on my hands and knees, I looked at them and I said, if you only knew what was in store for you. I finished cleaning up my mess. I ran out the front and started sweeping the walk. Two lovely ladies in bustles and bows, accompanied by their fine young gentleman friend, came walking down the street. I quickly stepped aside and hid my face. But as they walked by, I thought, if you only knew what was in store for you. A carriage rolled by and splashed muddy water on me. And I shouted, today. Today, I will get even with you! I finished sweeping the walk, and I started running back to my little room, hardly hearing the curses of some of the people I bumped into because I was singing to myself. Oh, you will see. Oh, you will see. When I got back to my little room, I cleaned and pressed my best jacket to hide the tear in my shirt. Just as I did, I I heard the chimes from the great cathedral, Notre Dame. And I must rush to get there in time. I ran out of my room, down the stairs, down the street, across the bridge, and to the square of the great cathedral, Notre Dame. It was steaming with people, all beautifully dressed in and in speaking in just the right tones of solemnity. As I saw them start to file into the church, I thought, very soon, very soon, you will know how I feel. I ran along the side of the church to the mattresses, where there was a small door for a priest only. I opened the door and it was dark, but I made my way up a spiral staircase to a real small balcony. Here, here, from here I could see the entire congregation and I had one small pipe organ beside me. As the people filed into the, all you could hear was the shuffling of their feet as they made it to their pews. And 
then it was silent the priest stepped out and as one the people dropped to their knees and began to pray I thought now now I will show you exactly how I feel in the bottom of my heart I sat down at the organ with my feet barely touching the pedals and I began to play A bright light shot through the stained glass window like a rapier flooding the room with lights of color. As the ecstasy continued to pour out of me through my hands and feet as the music filled the cathedral, the ceiling, the ceiling itself folded back to reveal the bright sunshine. It fell down upon us, down upon us all. And once the people stood and gazed into the light, some held out their arms, while others folded their hands in quiet prayer. Others, still others, laughed as they had never laughed before. As the ecstasy continued to pour out of me, the sky itself folded back to reveal the great white light of infinity. And it shone down upon us into every crack and crevice. Oh! Life has not been easy for me, nor has it changed, because to this day, no one knows who was playing the organ. But I do, and I will die content, knowing that for one brief moment, I let the people know exactly how I feel in my heart.